it just doesn't waste your time, like, at all. You know, it, it, it gets to the, the death and the spider shenanigans very early on. It, it delivers exactly what it advertised. A giant spider eating and killing people in the worst ways possible. Now, if you're just not into creature features or have a dislike a uh, fear of spiders in general, if you have arachnophobia, for instance, then you most definitely won't like this movie. And you'll be calling out for John Goodman to save you by the halfway point. Rock and roll. Well, now, my friends, let's go ahead and move on to my review for Sting. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm a pretty big fan of creature features. There's just something about a single individual or a group of people having to use their wits or whatever resources they have at their disposal to fight and survive against a dangerous animal or a nefarious otherworldly creature. You know, are you able to build compelling tension among the group, thus getting to know them over time as characters, while also building up the mystique uh, the mystery uh, of, of the creature itself. You know, some of the best films of all time have been creature features, such as Steven Spielberg's seminal 1975 blockbuster Jaws, to what is possibly my favorite horror film, if not my favorite film of all time, 1979's Alien, directed by Ridley Scott. These movies represent some of the best aspects of the horror subgenre. And I have to admit, I, I have an affection for downright silly, hell, even dumb creature features like Anaconda, for instance. or what is possibly the best killer shark movie since Jaws, Deep Blue Sea. First, we're gonna seal out this <laughs> And yes, there are plenty of awful creature features that have been released over the decades. The Sci-Fi Channel, and to an even lesser extent, Asylum, has produced many of them over the years. I saved you! I saved you! That's a first. But we're still getting good ones, you know, to, to this day. And I always have anticipation and affection for this particular subgenre. It's, it's, it's just a really fun subgenre to me. And, and that brings us to 2024's Sting, a giant killer spider movie that I've been looking forward to ever since I saw the trailer a couple of months ago. So, you know, where does this movie rank among killer spider movies? Is it up there with the underrated arachnophobia? Or is it down there in the gutter with something like Eight-Legged Freaks? Well, before I go ahead and tell you where it ranks, uh, let me provide you with a bit of a synopsis for Sting. A young girl comes across an odd and otherworldly spider that she makes her pet. But as the spider rapidly grows bigger over time, it transforms into a giant flesh-eating monster, forcing the young girl and her family to fight for survival. So, one of the things that I want to highlight and praise about this film, which is directed by Kia Roach Turner, who I think is a relatively new filmmaker, is its commitment to practical effects. Yes, there is some CGI used in the movie, and, and despite the relatively you know, low budget, they, they use it well for the most part. And, and it helps that the film primarily takes place in one single location, an old apartment building in the dead of winter. Um, but the sequences with practical effects and the blending of some of the CGI in a number of sequences is, is really good. And they create a nice, eerie atmosphere with, these, uh, with, the, with their chosen location. Just lots of shadows and like hard-to-see places. So it builds up anticipation and, and, and the terror. 
the thing that this spider does in this movie is gory, gross, and ghastly. This little guy who becomes a much bigger guy throughout the course of the movie does horrific things <laughs> to a number of tenants of this apartment. Everything from webbing up and horrifically disfiguring people to crawling inside of people's mouths and, and slowly eating them alive from the inside out. This spider is not fucking around and you do not want to cross it because it will make whatever time you have left on this planet purely torturous and miserable. It's all going to involve fangs, blood, and buckets of goop. And the goop is going to be you. That's what this spider is going to do to you. Our main character is Charlotte. Get it? I understood that reference. Uh, and I have to admit, uh, I'm a little mixed on, on her character. You know, she, she goes back and forth from being a, a likable like weirdo uh, to being like an annoying dick of a character sometimes. You know, she, she's a very angsty girl who is going through a lot. You know, they, they, they establish that her father left her and her family and now she has a stepdad, but she acts like a dick for the sake of acting like a dick. And that, you know, comes across as grating sometimes throughout the course of the movie. Not, not always, not always. Sometimes I think she's great. Sometimes, you know, again, it's, it, it comes down to the running and the direction. So sometimes I'm like, I was charmed by her. But other times it's like, well, this is kind of unnecessary. You're kind of creating faux conflict. And again, I, I talked about this before in, in, in a recent review in Civil War where you have a young character who's just there to create faux conflict when it's unnecessary. And, and Charlotte is not nearly as bad as, as that particular character in Civil War, but there are shades of that. And I was like, this isn't really necessary. You know, you can just make them a weirdo. You can just make them kind of quirky and we can all go with it and be on their side. So that was... um. That was a that was a choice in the in the film that I didn't particularly like. Um, her stepdad, on the other hand, uh, Ethan, is actually nice and is a, is a pretty fun guy. He's like a comic book illustrator, and he's trying his best with her. He's trying his best with Charlotte, but you know she's sometimes uh, giving him shit. Uh, the the rest of the cast is a just medley of of weird and sometimes even very over the top characters that reside in this apartment complex. You you might not know all the actors by name, but you've certainly seen some of them before. And uh these character actors and and they do a good job with the material that they're given. You you like some of them and you hate some of them and many of them die in horrific grisly fashion. And there are some great kills in this movie. Certainly the goriest death scenes I've seen so far in 2024, and I've seen a lot of horror movies so far, some really good ones. Um, you know, it, it's also very well paced. Uh, it has a nice 90 minute running time. I think it's just one minute over 90 minutes, 91 minutes. And most importantly, it just doesn't waste your time, like at all. You know, it, it, it gets to the, the death and the spider shenanigans very early on. It, it delivers exactly what it advertised. A giant spider eating and killing people in the worst ways possible. Now, if you're just not into creature features or have a dislike uh, a fear of spiders in general, if you have arachnophobia, for instance then you most definitely won't like this movie. And you'll be calling out for John Goodman to save you by the halfway point. Rock and roll. But for those that get a kick out of stuff like this, uh, then I think you're going to find a, a, a lot to I enjoy. You know, it, it does a great job with the practical effects. The spider has a personality. The spider is a nasty son of a bitch. That makes no apologies for what it does. There's a cool thing that that's revealed about the spider that even I'm like, oh, I didn't know there was going to be this. And so I thought that was uh, pretty fun and pretty neat, something the trailers don't give away. Like, there's a bit of a mystery. Um, and I'm glad that they they didn't uh, uh, put it into the uh, uh, the trailer because it would have been able to kind of would have ruined something that you find out early on, uh, which I thought was cool. And I think for the most part, the cast does a good job. Uh, 
outside of the the mixed feelings on on Charlotte, I don't think it's the actress's fault, you know. But there are uh, instances where I think she is good and she does hold her own. Again, it's the writing I feel like for her character, which is kind of mixed. But everything else about the movie I think is very entertaining, and um, uh, compared to some recent Spider movies that I've seen recently, well, maybe it doesn't reach the same heights as something like Arachnophobia that's become uh, become kind of a bit of like a cult classic over the last um, several uh, uh, decades. Probably has some like better character writing there. Um, it's certainly better than something like Eight-Legged Freaks, <laughs> which which feels like more of a, 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 a cartoon than a, than than a film and a bad cartoon at that. But uh, yeah, I actually had a had a blast watching uh, a Sting. Uh, again, if you love creature features, I think you're gonna get a lot out of this. But I get. I guess, you know, what about you guys? You know, for those of you who have seen Sting, did you really enjoy it? Were you mixed on it? Did you not like it? Um, I mean, I was pretty much me and just a couple of people in the theaters, so I don't know if a lot of people are going to see this. It will be on a streaming service, I think, sometime in the near future. So in case you don't see it, in the theater, I think it will be on VOD relatively soon, so you have that to look forward to. And um, but however you see it, whether it be in the theater or whether you, you see it on VOD, I think I think you're gonna get a lot of fun with it. Uh, this will be a very fun movie, I must say. This would be a great movie for a potential watch party chat. So once they release another spider themed movie, Killer Spider movie, then we will most definitely do a watch party for Sting in the near future. There's a lot of laughs to be had, a lot of gross out moments. I think it'll be really fun, but. I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Five minutes later. So here we go. Yeah, this is what I think a lot of people will be doing after they see Sting. The reaction to seeing a number of spiders. <laughs> it kind of does that to a few people, actually. <laughs> Ah, oh, fucking classic. Brilliant. <laughs> and in the words of Martin Scorsese, cinema. <laughs> I love it.